there. Hi. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Hello. Yes. <clears throat> Hi. Um, my name is Quimby. Welcome to the stream. And I'm I'm in a good mood today. And I would say I don't know why, but I know exactly why. And I will say why, but um, I want to warn you in advance. It's kind of silly. It's kind of it's kind of really silly why I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> I'm getting a haircut today, <laughs> and that's why I'm in a good mood is it's haircut time. I get haircuts about once every two months-ish because I've got short hair and I like to keep it that way. Um, but I, I don't know, it just, it's a good feeling. It's a good vibe. It makes me feel like, yeah, this is, this is going to be a good day. This day that I am getting a haircut. I don't know. I just, I just enjoy it greatly. Um, and I've got a lot of energy, but I'm not sure that it's... Oh, hold on, I'm peeking my microphone a little bit. I've got a lot of energy, but I'm not sure that it, it's the kind of energy that necessarily uh, transfers well to speaking. So we're going to see how that works out with today. It's going to be it's gonna be an adventure. It's going to be an exciting time while we figure this out. Um, anyways, hello, welcome to the stream. Um, I feel like I already said that. We're going to be back in Subnautica today. Going to be... Um, working on a prawn suit and maybe possibly perhaps um, the beginnings of a lost river base because I went to the lost river yesterday and got some things that I needed from there. It's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be pretty pog. Um, I think we should go ahead and get on into it. So let me just go ahead and pause that intro music and turn up volume on the game. The opening screen's a little bit loud. I don't know how loud it is for you guys. Sorry. Um, but we're going to switch to the scene that has the game in about three, two, one, and boop. <clears throat> that boop did not come out of my throat well. This is fine. Uh, welcome back to Subnautica. Look, on our on, on, on our save here, now we have a sea moth, a cyclops, and a prawn suit. So I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves. I think we're doing, I think we're doing pretty dang good. I did, oh gosh, I didn't look at how many hours we've spent here, but it's definitely not ton. The game kind of goes a little bit faster when you've played a few times, like Unto, I have. Did the game just make coffee for me? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love a good, I love a good start of the stream with some coffee. You good, friend? There's not a cup there or anything. Um, well, I guess I simply had the cup in my hand somehow. Copy Americano. Mm. Ready, ready, ready? <sighs> I love a... <clears throat> I love a good um, coffee in the morning. I'm receiving a phone call. It is not from anyone I know. I'm not going to answer the phone call. Uh, but welcome back to my surface base in Subnautica. Technically, it's my only base at the moment. But I expect that to change pretty soon because, um, the Lost River and all that. You know, you know how it goes. But, what words was I saying? Oh gosh, what words was I saying? The prawn suit. We made a prawn suit yesterday, which is pretty cool, pretty pog. Um, prawn suit is named Leo, which I think is a great name for a prawn suit. Welcome look at look at Leo. I'm pretty sure so Leo and uh, and Scorpio aren't exactly the same color, but they're similar enough that I don't necessarily care. Uh, Leo's great. Don't get me wrong, I do love Leo, but um, he's missing some upgrades that would be necessary to be useful. Some of those, some of those we already have, like the, um, storage compartment one, that's going to be pretty easy. Semicolon, however, comma, there's a few others we want to get. I picked up some materials yesterday for the jump jets upgrade, um, but we'll definitely want to, at some point, get a depth module mark one, um, and, ooh, a whole reinforcement might be nice. Maybe an engine efficiency module? I've got limited st uh, space for upgrades, so I'm thinking we do engine efficiency module, hull reinforcement, uh, jump jets, and storage. Oh wait, oh, but then there'd be no place for this one. Um, we can probably get rid of... Maybe... 
maybe energy efficiency when the time comes. Let's see what I have. Let's see what's hiding in my lockers. I don't know. Best not to jump ahead of ourselves too quickly. I know I have an extra storage compartment. Um, so that's very nice. Do I have any lithium? Oh yes, I've got a little bit. I need some lithium for my jump jets. And I don't have enough titanium. That's alright, I can just grab it and we'll... We'll, we'll just go out and grab some um, metal salvage or something after putting the storage module in. This is fine. Doop. And there we go. Storage module. <laughs> it's always so kind of anticlimactic when you put um, upgrades into the in, into the vehicles, because there's not really a sign that you've done it. It's there's no like congratulations, you have upgraded your vehicle. It's just sort of there and. Most of the time you can't tell that something's changed until you actually take it out for a whirl. But maybe it would be, I, I don't know, maybe it's a bit greedy of me to expect them to celebrate every single thing that I do. Admittedly, I do a lot of things and yes, most of them are celebration worthy, but uh, and of course copper ore. Sorry. Um. I don't know, it might, it might be a little bit nice to have some, some recognition for my hard work. Alright. I may have... I should have... I should have put on my scanning room even though this was going to be a short trip. Because I've used up a lot of the metal salvage of this area. There's not... Not a ton that's easily findable and accessible. Watch as I then find like a ton of metal salvage on my way back. It, it, it's fine. Shh, it's, it's fine. Nope, I didn't. Yeah, no, I, I I should just, um... Wow, I should scanning room that. It does make me a little concerned that I'm no longer finding titanium quite as easily, because that's not a good sign for me making a mega base later. There, I know there's a ton of, like, large titanium deposits in several different places, which is going to be a lifesaver for me. And I guess I haven't plumbed all of the creep vine forests, just the ones nearby here. But still, it's just a little, um... I've, I'm filled with some trepidation. Alright, the jump jets module is gonna be super helpful in making the prawn suit a usable thing. Um, I don't really, I don't really know that I have the, uh patience to show exactly why the prawn suit isn't super useful all on its own. Um, I guess for now probably just take my word for it that the prawn suit in its basis form is not my favorite thing in the world. It's it's kind of a rip. Kind of uh, kind of cringe in fact a little bit. A, a little bit um a little bit of a nerd. What what if I'm oh, I was looking in the wrong spot. It's like, what do I need for a, for a reinforcement module? I thought I had the stuff for that. It was, it was just hiding. I was just being silly. All right, so let's drop that in. And what do I need for an engine efficiency module? That's, that's honestly not too difficult. And it wouldn't be too much of a waste if I leave that. E. Hi, Lord. Hello. Welcome. Well, welcome. How are you doing? I am making things. That's that's what I'm up to. Um, do I have any table coral samples? No, I do not. I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be heading out over to the floating islands. Uh, like at the moment, how about you? I'm I'm in a surprisingly good mood today because I'm getting a haircut later. And literally, that's the only thing that's affecting my mood. That's the only thing that's changing anything about today. And it's just put me in such a, such a good vibe. I gotta go. Sorry, no, that's chill. Thanks for stopping in. Totally okay. And then, what do I need for polyaniline? I need hydrochloric acid, but what do I need for hydrochloric acid? Deep shroom and salt deposit. Cool, cool, cool. I have some deep shrooms out here. How many did I need? Three. 
I will, I will stab a mushroom to be able to replant it. Did I plant all the things? Yes, I did. Um, and my water thing over here will have some salt for me. Doop. Doop. And let me actually also take the water. Water is a, a valuable resource. I need a lot of it. I need a lot of it. See, I don't quite understand. Oh, it's because of the. I was like, I, I for the moment I couldn't remember if um, hydrochloric acid was the only ingredient in polyaniline, and I was like, if it is the only ingredient, then why do we? Why do I have to go the extra step of making another thing? But no, 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 no. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It takes gold also, so we're we're okay. It is. It is fine. Um. With this last upgrade, other than, you know, the depth module, which I'm going to need at some point, um, all that's left are the arms. And that's going to get significantly more difficult because I don't have the blueprints for any of the arms that I want. I really like the grapple arm and the drill arm, and I have neither. So that's a big rip to me. Um, I do know a place where I can probably find some fragments of them. So we're probably going to be heading out there in a sec. But for, for now, I want to make one more, j just one more of my alien containment tanks. Uh, I built that huge long tower of it and um, I'm going to need a lot of quartz to finish it out. And I don't definitely don't have the quartz supplies I need for it at the moment. Oh, I need two more. Oh, perfect amount. Um, yeah, I definitely don't have the stuff I need right now to make the whole entire thing, but when has that ever stopped me? When has that ever stopped me from from doing things? Uh, okay, and titanium times two. I have the perfect amount. Let me just drain my entire resources constantly for things that I want. This is a good decision. Just constantly using resources. This is this is fine. I, I definitely don't need to deal with scarcity of resources or anything. No, no, no. That would be silly. Uh, interior pieces? Yes. Alien containment. I gotta give some room to my fish, you know? Let them, let them have some space to breathe. And there we go. Also my cuttlefish. I gotta give my cuttlefish some space to breathe. And look at them go! Look at how happy they are with more space. It was kind of cramped down there in just that little tank space. And it's gonna get even more cramped once I start putting like jelly ray eggs in there. Cause I, I do want to get jelly eggs, jelly, jelly ray eggs and put them in there. I can talk. I can speak words. They're so much fun. Look at that. I, okay, so I know that I built like a ton of rooms going up by, and was planning to fill all of them, but I think I might leave the top one off. Like, the top one just like this so that I can look down into the tanks. Can I put a hatch right on top of there? I don't have the resources to do it right now, but could I? What? Why can't I do that? This is fine. I'll, um, I'll, I'll just figure it out later. For now, the fish are, um... Looking more content with their space, looking more happy with their lives, so I feel I, I feel okay to go out and do more things. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks, Ada. Appreciate that. And when I say go out to do more things, I mean go to the floating islands. I didn't want to use the planter. I want. I didn't want to use the planter. I wanted to. I didn't want to use the planter. I wanted to. I didn't want to use the planter, I wanted to pick up Marble Melon. Yeesh. Very, very cool planter. Okay, that time I did want to use the planter, so that was alright. But, so the Floating Islands isn't somewhere that I've really spent a ton of time in here, and I usually don't. Um, the, the Floating Islands are cool, but uh, kind of a bit spooky, but we are going to head out over to there. Um, we're gonna be going in another wreck. I should have enough oxygen to be able to make this work out. 
But basically, we need to... Actually, I'm gonna... Oh, wrong button. I'm gonna turn on CTOU's life pod signal. Because that's a really good guide to um, to exactly the place I want to go. I might, I might hit life pod 3 on the way. Sorry, boomerang fish. Sorry about that. Sorry. I might hit life pod 3 on the way because I don't really need that beacon on. And yes, I could just turn it off manually, but why would I do that when I could just go there myself instead? I think it's simple. I, I think that that's a good plan. And besides, it's on the way. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it there. Yo, tube. I'm gonna have to come back there at some point. I'm pretty sure I spent time in that tube, but I don't know if I've spent enough time in that tube. Can you ever really spend enough time in a tube? I think that that's, um, that, that's just simply one of the finer pleasures of life, is spending time in a tube. I'm gonna breach the surface. That's all. This has been, this has been a PSA by Quimby. I'm gonna breach the surface. And ta-da! Okay, turned the beacon off. Again, I did not need to do that, but I did. What are you gonna do about it? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so this is the floating islands. There's a lot of bone sharks here, which is a big rip for me because I don't like bone sharks. Actually, fun story about that. I think they're uh, kind of mean, and they are kind of mean. They just simply are. I'm gonna have to be really careful with Scorpio here to make sure that, um, to make sure he does not get bit. Okay, so we are looking for a very specific island. It should be, oh, is it right up here? Yep, this is it. It's got a wreck. Okay, so we need to find a place to park Scorpio where there's no or few bone sharks. This is not it. This is not the place. There's bone sharks right here. There's a lot of bone sharks. Bone sharks are great because they make really scary noises, but aren't really that dangerous. Like, take enough hits from them and you'll lose your sea moth, but for the most part, they're not too bad. Okay, bone sharks will attack an unattended sea moth. So we gotta be gotta be careful about that. We don't want to lose Leo. Not Leo, Scorpio. Ugh, I'm like a parent forgetting the names of my children. Okay. This is probably okay. It's a bit far from the area, but uh I think it's gonna have to do. Oh, one moment. Should have done this beforehand. Propulsion cannon fragment. Let's open the door. Big, big door opened moment. Um, sure, I'll scan the propulsion arm fragment. I don't know if I already have this, but if I do, then I will take the titanium. Oh, I did not already have it. Lovely. Fine, I'll, I'll scan the chic plant pot. Do I need a chic plant pot? Probably not at this point. New blueprint acquired. It's so dramatic for a plant blueprint. Okay. Yeah, tug, tug, tug on the door. Gotta, gotta watch our oxygen because I'm going to need more time than usual to get to my ship. So we, oh wait, oh this is the this is the wreck that I really should have brought my propulsion cannon with for is that a battery strapped to this can i get that battery no i cannot rip to me i'd like to take care of things a bit closer earlier see bone sharks they just make they just make noises i i'm gonna be very paranoid about scorpio because again bone sharks so let's just okay Okay, seems to be fine. Hello, hi Del. Floating islands today. Uh, I'm looking for, I'm looking for prawn suit fragments or prawn arm fragments. But how are you doing? I don't understand what my voice is doing. It's but that's fine. 
I'm in an unreasonably good mood today because I'm getting a haircut. I'm, I'm getting a haircut. It's, it's pretty. It's, it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be pretty important, you know. Like, gotta gotta get a haircut sometimes. I've got a lot of energy, but I'm not sure it's necessarily energy that translates to words. So it's a good time. Do, 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 do. <sighs> batteries can I can I open the door please thank you doing the vibing oh that's nice I love me a good vibing moment personally I need propulsion cannon or drill arm fragments and the game isn't giving them to me I will I'll, I'll take the propulsion arm fragment because um, I'm I'm a giver like that you know, the, the game sometimes gives you things, and who am I to refuse the gift of the game? That would be ungrateful, and I don't I don't want to be ungrateful. I uh, just fell off the phone of the Starbucks company and they can give me the money to open my business. Yo! Yo, congratulations! That's great! That is so that that's so like Wow, businessy things, you know. That that's that that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice. I already had that blueprint. It's like, man, doing the do, doing the the big for life things out here, dog. Congratulations! It's about time I got it started. Yeah. Don't know if you're saying that in a like it's about time I got it started, or a, you know it's about time I got started. But I will agree with you either way. Ooh, grapple arm fragment. It's not everything I need, but it's a little bit what I need. Oh, I should have brought my propulsion cannon. I should have brought my propulsion cannon. Okay, we can we can make a trip. We can make the trip back. Either one works. Nice. Um, alternatively, you work because uh, the business startup. Ah, uh? ah. Uh? It's about the business. Sure, I'll scan the earth and coral tubes. Why not? I got some extra oxygen. Alright. Scorpio looks okay. We're just gonna make a very quick trip back to the base to pick up my propulsion cannon. Because if I don't find the grapple arm here, then I gotta go into the deep blood kelp zone. The blood kelp trench. The deep blood kelp trench zone area place where the um, where the things are. And that would be, that would be an experience. That would be such an experience. That would really be an experience. On a scale of one to experience, that's all the way on the end of experience. I'm glad I didn't hand anything there because I was not watching the road. <laughs> do, 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 do. Taking unnecessarily long trips for no reason. I think I only need one more grapple arm fragment. I haven't found any drill arm fragments, but I can probably hit the Grand Reef to look for those. But I need- but if I don't get the grapple arm here, then I'm in trouble. So hopefully that last little area is gonna be hiding a grappling arm fragment, cuz... Oh boy. Oh boy, I, I did the... Huh. I'm terrified of this game. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, bladderfish. Didn't mean it. Didn't mean that. That. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's that one's on me. Rip. Whoops. Well, let's just go ahead and, um, pile it back into the moon pool and pretend that nothing happened because nothing did happen. And it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> Is there a leak somewhere? Why? Why? Why is there a leak here? Did, did, <laughs> did something impact my base? Did so, what? Huh? Huh? 
Why? Why? I do not understand. I do not. I do, I do not pretend to understand. Um. Because my whole integrity is pretty dang good. And I've got like a ton of reinforcement areas. Why? Why do I? Did something. I don't think anything would impact here. What is is there some hidden rule of um of not being able to do certain building styles or else is there too much glass up here? I've made like entire glass rooms before and never had a problem. Why? What what is happening? Is is my game falling apart? Am I falling apart? Maybe you'll have a developer original game to play on the stream too. Is it stream soon? Um, that would be that would be phenomenal. I would definitely play that if it was um, if it was an option. You know, hey, you, you make you make the game, I play the game. What and and that's the that's the way the world goes around. Hey, you ever heard of the rule of um? Uh, oh gosh, what am I saying? Uh, you ever heard the rule of, um... I, I, I no playing games on stream? It's a sort of, sort of outdated notion, some people would say. I also do got a rat boy next to me. Oh my gosh, rat boy! Rats! I love rats so much. Um, I've had, I've had three pet rats in my lifetime. All, all within, like, the same span of time. Uh, cause we got multiple so that they would have friends. Um, and that, that was just, that was just a very nice pet experience. Like, like, wow, just good pets, you know? I, gosh, I remember we, we tried to teach my rats how to swim. Cause I knew that was a thing that you could train them to do. But they were very determined to not want to swim. That was not a thing that they were interested in learning how to do. It's the angry boy from the group, Hulk. Aww. Hulk, my beloved. Sometimes you're- sometimes when you are a rat, you are simply angry, and I don't think that that's something that we as humans have the ability to judge. Um, but yeah, my rats were dead set on not learning how to swim. They- they were- very certain that learning how to swim was something that uh, was, in fact, incorrect for rats to do. So anytime we, we tried to like coax them in the water gently, by like you know leaving cool little like pebbles and treats and stuff in there for them, but nah, they were convinced that that the water was trying to kill them. They were they were so absolutely certain. Okay, let's take a quick bone shark look. I'm not seeing any bone sharks really there. He bites everyone. Aw. What a what a little what a little angry friend, you know? What just an one one absolute what what an absolute anger boy. I don't know, I, I don't know, I'm I'm trying to think of a good word there and uh, just just angry rat. You've heard of the, you've you've heard of the you've heard of the play Twelve Angry Men. Now get ready for the sequel, One Angry Rat. I don't remember where the other entrance was, so I'm just gonna go in the first entrance that I found. Bruh. Yes, I'll pick up the Gary Fish, but how did the store close? I was just here. I was literally just here. How did that door close? Is someone coming in and closing the doors? Is it the warpers? Are the warpers coming in and closing the door? <sighs> well, at the very least, the, nice, the doors are still unsealed. You know, so at least I've got that going for me. Let there be a grappling hook arm. 
uh, repulsion cannon. I'm pretty sure I already have this, but eh, I need the titanium. Healing uh, containment, I have this too. Uh, thanks, friends. I don't think there's a grapple arm. There's a grapple arm. Oh, okay. This is this is fine. I I played Subnautica so many times. It's clearly going into the blood kelp trench is not going to be an issue because of how many times I have played this game and explored the areas. Maybe we hit the deep grand reef first. Cyclops suppression system. I don't think I actually picked that one up. It's a prawn suit fragment. I need to go for oxygen real soon. <sighs> just, just, just taking taking a last little look through here, just in case you know I missed something like a like an, an area of the ship. That might have a fragment, or I don't, I don't know, something else. Y you know, um, just literally anything along those lines. Dang it. Okay, this is fine. This, this is fine. This is so very extremely fine. Well, <sighs> let's go to the let's go to the Grand Reef. You see if I can find some drill arm. Oh, can you imagine? I don't find drill arm fragments in the Grand Reef, and then I have to go into the Blood Kelp Trench to find both a grapple hook, it, like both the grappling arm and the drill arm. Yikes. Oof. Okay, so the first time... I, I, I've said it, like, several times at this point, but the first time I played this game, I... I did a whole big long adventure in the Blood Kelp Trench. I was down there for probably over an hour. Um, just... Just in that tiny little area, traveling around, doing my best to avoid warpers, to um, avoid the ampials, just... You know, just in general, stay low, keep hidden. I probably got caught by warpers like three or four times, which was terrifying. Um, I don't think I even like found the Lost River that first time. I was too, too scared of the ampule next to it. <sighs> but that's where that's where I got my grapple arm and um, nuclear reactor fragments. So. You know, I, there's there's some precedence to it being an important spot. I'm not gonna lie, Chai, I kind of hate this. I, I kind of hate this with a passion. We'll go ahead and... I mean, I guess I impacted with the base there. That might that might be enough to, to cause a leak. You know, if, if there's a leak this time, I would understand that. Because I smacked into the base a little bit. But there's not. The base is perfectly fine. I don't understand. Alright, let's drop off some titanium. Let's... I don't really need the propulsion cannon where I'm going. And, um, let's make sure to put my Gary fish that I just picked up into my little tank with everything. Look at them go. It's just... It's a lovely little ecosystem in here. They're having so much fun. They're having so much fun. Making sure I drop it and not consume it. I haven't scanned the eye eye. That's the one I was missing. They've got a big ol' eye. Okay, um... It might be a little cramped in here. I will I will get the next thing up as soon as I can, as soon as I um, have my other stuff figured out.
do I remember where any wrecks in the Grand Reef are? I'm pretty sure there's one off to the left of where I usually enter. That feels that feels pretty true. I, I think I remember that. Um, just gonna eat one marble melon for the for the H two O count. All right. Uh, what do I need for a stasis rifle? Just thinking. If I'm going to go into the um, blood kelp trench, it might be nice to bring a stasis rifle with me. Peter chip battery magnetite titanium. I can do that actually. That's a thing that I could do. Oh wait, 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 wait. I've got I've got a dead battery on me. Well, be be right back, Scorpio. Be right back. Go to fish. Raw. Hi, point blank. Hello. I mean, I guess if you if you tell me that I should eat a fish raw, then there's not a ton that I can do about that. So, I guess here we go. Fish. Can't pick up any of those fish. That's a school of fish. Fish. All right, point blank, I did it. Are, are you are, are you happy? Punch an alien shark with a mirror the boss mayor. Oh, I don't know if I, I don't, I don't, I, I could punch a little shark. I was going to say, I don't think I could punch a bone shark because they are, they are scary and would hurt me a lot, but I could probably punch a little shark. There's some, there's some little sharks over here that I could, I could see if I could get a hit or two on. Where's my, where's my bitey boys? Where's my little chomp, chomp, chomp guys? There they are! Aw, oh, look at that, look at that little bitey friend. So bitey. Let's stab them with a knife. Come here, come here, come here. I'm slow because I have a big heavy oxygen tank on my back. Did I kill it? Not yet. Come here. Come here. It's gonna be fine, I promise. Come here. Come here. Why are you, why are you so insistent on fighting me on this? Come here. I'm very much satisfied, Mayor. Thank you. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. I'm getting a haircut today, so I'm unreasonably happy with myself. Fine, I'll scan you instead. Fine, I'll, I'll, I'll do this. Psych! It was, a, it was a ploy to get closer. Got him. Got him. Got him. Where did, where did I leave my sea moth? Quimby <laughs> really stabbed an alien fish on the ocean floor. This is why you're the best bossing. Yeah. I do, I do a little stabbing. As a treat. You know, as, as a treat. I mean, what is, what is life without a little stabbery? Boring is what it is. I don't think, I don't think I could stab anything much larger though. Anything much larger will be more aggressive and more likely to, um, to kill me back. I'll be like, I'm gonna stab you and it's gonna be like, haha, psych, you're dead. And I'll be like, oh no. And then that's that that's a real live actual um re recreation of what would happen if I were to do that. But you know, we did we did a little stabbing. Just just a little bit of stabbing. How are you, point blank? I'm currently headed on my way to uh the deeper ocean to try to find some parts that I need for a thing. Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. I haven't scanned these yet, though, so. Anchor pod. Anchor pod. Where's a brain? There it is. I have to scan the brain. It's a membrane tree. Ta-da! Okay, um... The, the Rex! <laughs> I'm supposed to be looking for parts. 
Cricket time? Is it time for the quirky bangs, punk rock, undercut, uh, plain Jane V-shaped trip, or bisexual bob cut? Um, oh gosh, I'm trying to think what my current haircut would be described as. Oh, there it is. There's the wreck. There's probably some warpers nearby. Um, what? It's, gosh, so I'm doing my current haircut, but I feel like the longer bang section is entirely too long. So I want to see if I can get the bangs a little bit shorter. Um, I guess you could describe my current haircut as the hair seen in any movie about fairies. You know, you know, like the 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 fairy haircut, like taking taking pixie cut to its most extreme interpretation. Okay, I can probably bring the seam off down a little bit lower. This is fine. I think out of time since you need a place of Nautica, I'm not also interested in buying it soon. I mean, honestly, it's such a fun game to play. I actually purchased the game because I saw a playthrough on YouTube and um, I got very, very interested and invested. And I was like, yo, I should give that a shot. What did I just get? Something. I don't know what that was, but I just got it. There's almost certainly some warpers around here. This is the kind of spot that would have warpers. Where is the entrance to this place? <laughs> Drill arm. Takes so long to scan things. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, power source. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Power source. Okay, I have one drill arm. I need at least one more to do what I want to do. Hello, what are you? Open is what you're gonna be soon. Um, if you want a first person, sure, question mark, but similarly relaxing and management game, look at Slime Rancher. Uh, you collect slimes on an alien planet, cultivate them, and it's disgustingly adorable. Can I? There we go. It's disgustingly adorable and surprisingly involved. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. That does sound like the sort of thing that I would enjoy. Your main gun is a vacuum scooper that scoops up the cute slimes? That does sound right up my alley. That does sound exactly right up my alley. Is that- Oh, it's a grappling arm fragment! Oh, goodness. Oh my gosh, I was so- Worried I'd have to go to... Oh, gosh. Okay. I was terrified that I'd have to go to the, uh, to the blood kelp trench. But no, we're fine. We're fine. This is fine. This is okay. Sorry, uh, the, the, the uh, the, um, slime game does sound adorable and fun. I'm just, um, I'm just really happy that, <laughs> that I found that because, um, I was terrified I wouldn't be able to find oh gosh oh we oh no now I just need to I just need to get the drill arm to work out for me and it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay as long as I don't run into any warpers here we're gonna be fine whoo chat we are we are doing good we're doing so good today all good things all good things um, I do not know what this is. Let's cut it open. <laughs> me when I me when I don't know what something is. Let's cut it open. Let's cut it open and see what is inside. Um. Can I? Can I, can I get you to cut though? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I don't know why my laser cutter is being so quirky today. It's just, it just doesn't want to be fun. Does Sonata ever stop being scary? Or do all the tech upgrades mean jack because there's always bigger fish? Um, you get less scared of survival. It's less like if I don't find a fish to eat, I will die today. Um, but I don't think anything quite ever really helps that visceral terror of there being large fish you know 
that's just that's just not something that I've ever been able to get over. Um, especially drill arm fragment, drill arm fragment, drill arm fragment. Um, but it's especially pertinent. Um, I should find my way out of here. Oh, that's that's very nice. I skipped the entrance entirely. It's especially pertinent when there's multiple threats in an area. Um, as soon as your stream has awoken Timmy and he's curious by your voice and has chosen to lick the screen of the phone. <gasps> Timmy likes me? They like me. They really, really like me, which is actually a misquote. Hi, Nuki. How's it going? Uh, it's going pretty, pretty decently well. Um, I'm... Don't, don't mind that. Hi, huh, that's, that's going well, tone of voice. Um, I'm secretly very excited because I'm getting a haircut today. And that is the most exciting thing to ever happen to me. Or at least that's what my brain is telling me. My brain is like, haircut, haircut, haircut. I do, I love haircuts. Even if I just get like the same haircut, I just, it's, there's just something really good about it. Haircuts are scary. Um, I mean, yeah, there's, there's always the possibility that it's going to go terrible and you're going to have a bad time of it. Um, I've, I've learned a lot of words that can be used to communicate with hairdressers that, uh, that let them know what you mean. Okay, so that's the way up. I want to find my way back to my sea moth. But I will, I will agree that, uh, haircuts can be, can be, they, they can be pretty stressful. Especially if you're trying something new. Which is why I just simply don't super ever try anything new. I've got, I've got my haircut that I like, that gives me what I want, and then I just tell people, yes, that's all I want, please. I need to make my way back to my sea moth. We do a zoom. We do a little zoom. We do a little zoom, zoom, zoom. Uh, they're cooler suck. You know what? Yeah, there's no, there's really no in between there. Either, uh, this is fine. Either haircuts work out really well and are very, very cool and pog, or they're not. And there's absolutely no in between. Uh, I don't know if it's this common issue with the ladies, but in men's haircuts, when it comes to trimming the sideburns with a razor, you have a, uh, if you have outstanding acne, sometimes the barber cuts the pimples by accident. Ooh. I... I think that probably is an issue. Like, um, gosh, I've had like, I've had like pimples on my neck before when I get the, the back cut with a razor or clippers, I think they call them. And that's been pretty uncomfortable before. I know that, um, they try to be careful with it, but sometimes there's just, sometimes it's just unavoidable to have things get hurt. Hello, Lero. Hi, welcome to the stream. Uh, we are, we are discussing haircuts because I'm gonna get a haircut today and I'm so excited about it. Kind of unreasonably excited. Really, the, the only, like, new thing that's happening is I want to cut my bangs a little bit shorter. Because, listen, I don't know if you guys have ever had the problem of your hair just, like, of just kind of realizing that your hair is perpetually too long. Um, I get haircuts, like, every two months to manage my hair because... I have a lot of it and it's decently long. Um, but currently, so currently at the moment, the longest strands of my bangs like reach down to just past my lips. And that just feels entirely too long. It's always brushed off to the side so it doesn't look like it's that long. You know, it's the the classic side swept bang style. Um, but it's just, it's just too much. That's entirely too much hair for what I want. Doop doop. Gotta make sure I've got a good water supply on happen. Pixar didn't happen. I could maybe do a drawing. I could maybe do a drawing of the hairstyle that I usually have. Um, I'm not that great at the art. I took like I took a um, costume design class, and I've, I I can you know kind of operate from that make that right now nope I don't have any lithium awesome um 
Yeah, so I, I could, I could kind of see if I could give you guys a... Sorry, I, um... <laughs> that rabbit ray just got very confused. Uh, yeah, I could, I could see if I could give you guys, like, a... An approximation. I'm worried about my one singular nuclear power cell in here. I'm gonna need to make a new one at some point. Maybe while I'm... Maybe while I'm out, I can see if I can pick up some uraninite. How much uraninite do I have? Do you, do you ever uh, cut your own things impulsively, like in the movies? Because my girlfriend has done that on impulse at times, and the results vary. Um, I don't. I don't think I ever have. I am. I'm super particular with my bangs. Because uh, because they're so, they're like sides up. So um, I guess I guess I may as well talk about this a little bit. I've got. I've got like fairly short pixie cut style hair, like I said, you know, like fairy, fairy in a movie kind of look. And um, all of, I've got like a pretty, pretty deep part. So most of my hair, just like the longer section just sweeps over to the side. And I don't ever, t I would never touch that with scissors on my own because I have no idea what, what happens to make hair that way. Like what does, what does one do? to to make this happen um i might head to the jelly shroom caves that might be a good plan uh but I, I have no idea what one does to get hair to be this way and i'm not confident enough in my ability to use scissors to make that happen i i have cut strands of my hair on impulse gosh chat when i was when i was a lot younger when i was a wee little kid um me and a friend I guess I can't say I've never, never impulsively cut my hair because I'm about to tell a story about me and a friend impulsively cutting our hair. Um, this was when I was like six-ish. Um, me and my best friend at the time decided it would be super cool if we could just, you know, if we just cut our hair ourselves. Um, we didn't do anything like drastic. It was mostly just like cutting pieces of our hair off. Like... You know, not not in the attempt to make it a style or anything, just cutting it for the sake of cutting it. Um, and, uh, as you can imagine, our parents weren't super happy about that. Um, like, I I don't know about you guys, but uh, having having your small children do, do, do something like that is um, not the greatest plan, so... We were, like, banned from touching scissors. Um, I just looked up what Pixie Cut looks like as a refresher, and it's cute. Yeah! Uh, Pixie Cuts are darling. I... I really enjoy having them. You have now become soup. I guess there's nothing for it. I am soup now. It's me. I'm soup. Um, but yeah, Pixie Cuts. I love them. Um, what was what was this thing? Yeah, so we were banned from touching scissors. Uh, it was a whole, it, it was a whole like effort to to like train us to not cut our hair. Um, I remember being like bribed at one point. I think it was like if we don't cut our hair for a week, then we'd get like ice cream or something. And it was huh, 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 huh. hi Lord, hi. Good, good timing on that. That was, um, that was very alarming. I will, I will say that was, that was a good one. You really got me there. <laughs> really got me there. Mmm. Wahaha. <laughs> yes. Yes, that, that, that one was really good. That one was really good. Um, but it was a, it was an ongoing deal. The whole not cutting hair thing. And after a point, um, Why are there suddenly a ton of snakes over by my seamoth? Oh, because they're biting my seamoth. That's why. That would make sense. That would that would really make sense. Um, but yeah, and, and then just over time, we, we forgot about the whole... I just smacked into a wall, but it's fine. We forgot about the whole, like, cutting your own hair game. And then, um... And then it was... And then it just got a lot better from there. 
So fun story. Uh, I've been I've been kind of thinking about talking about like my whole whole story of my haircuts. <laughs> Clipped it. Ah, oh, of course. Uh, understandable. Very. You know. Thanks for that. That's that's very pog. Um, I should really keep my eyes on the road. Um, I've been thinking about talking about like my whole my whole experience with haircuts, and I guess uh, feel free to stop me anytime if you guys don't want to hear this. Um, but so basically, the history the history of me and haircuts, um, and this does actually all go back to that time that my friend and I were cutting our own hair. Um, we got super obsessed with it, you know, like as kids do, and. Uh, it was a big problem. I think the issue is that neither of us had really great impulse control. So then, um, so then it just became a really big problem of, uh, you know, they would say, like, hey, I'm gonna cut my hair. And I'd be like, uh, I don't think we're supposed to do that. And then my friend would be like, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And be like, ooh, but that looks really fun, so I'll do it too. And, you know, the cycle would just continue. Um, <laughs> but so then after, after that... I'm getting a haircut too. Yo! Good day for haircuts. I I love haircuts. It's such a good experience. Or by experience I mean just like the the whole general vibe of haircuts. Um But yeah, so actually after that I became super super obsessed with um having long hair. Uh because I because we had to like be trained not to cut our hair, um I kind of got obsessed with the idea of just having really super long hair. And, uh, I proceeded to grow it out for the next, like, eight-ish years until I hit, um, until I hit probably around the, it was, like, my last year of middle school. Not middle school, elementary school. My last year of elementary school, right before I entered middle school. Um, I was out with some friends, um, playing, you know, j just playing while ad adults were doing things out, you know, while we were outside. And somehow I got, like, burrs really stuck in my hair. Like, really stuck. Like, to the point that we had to cut it off. Um, I know today I got a call tomorrow to see if I can do it. Oh, okay. Good week for haircuts. Not only haircut, also the beard. Yo! The full hair care experience. Let's just, let's just all have, like, self-care hair days where we just all get something done with our hair, even if it's not, like, cutting it. And just, like, I don't know getting it brushed or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, that reminds me I need to do the shave. Yeah, that's a good thing to do. Um, but yeah, so in, at the at the end of elementary school, we had to cut my hair. It wasn't short. Um, it was like to my shoulders, but to me at the time, that was like super devastating because I just spent years growing all this hair out because um, because I got an obsession with it. And then suddenly I had to cut it all off. And that was that was really tragic and emotional. And I proceeded to then like make a resolution to get my hair that long again. I'm gonna do it now before I forget. Ah, good plan. Better better make sure you do not simply forget. That's important. But yeah, so then um throughout the no, wait, no, 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 no. I, I kept it short for a, a little while after that, I think. No, 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 wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm getting myself mixed up. Okay. Um, end of elementary school, got my hair cut to my shoulders. Then I proceeded to grow it back out again until it was long. And I was like, man, that's like that. That's kind of cool. That's kind of great. That is not the side that I want this on. I'm going to have to make the grappling arm. Um, proceeded to grow out long. I was like, yeah, this is great. This is cool. And then, for some reason, I don't remember what it was, I just decided I wanted shorter hair again. So I had it recut to my shoulders. I think it was just difficult to take care of long, and I was younger and didn't have the patience to, like, do it properly. So I was like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cut, cut it off again. So I got to my shoulders, and I kept it there for probably about, like, two years before I went, no, I want to grow my hair again. And for, for context for this story, my hair grows really fast, so when I say I grew it out... I mean, I grew it out to, like, mid-back every single time that I did this. So I proceeded to grow it out for a few years until I hit my junior year of high school. And I I'd had super long hair, and um, but I was kind of getting restless with it. I never actually did anything with my hair. I just had it long, 
and um and that was that was literally just it i just had it long i'd put it in ponytails like every single day because i couldn't stand it in my face i couldn't stand it loose i it got tangled if i left it alone for like two seconds and i was like hmm, this is kind of trash i that kind of kind of terrible kind of hate that actually um but i wasn't fully ready to cut off the thing about growing your hair long is that you kind of get emotionally attached to it because you have to take such good care of it um oh i need some more gold and that wiring kit. Um, so I, I was like, Ew, I don't, I don't really wanna, don't really wanna cut my hair. So I did the bangs. Um, my my school was doing like a, it, well, it was like a themed like dress up day, or something where we were supposed to dress up as like um, s superhero characters. I think it was, and I decided that I was going to be the villain from Sky High. Um, spoilers if you haven't seen Sky High, I guess, but, um, the, the villain of Sky High is, um, is a, is a character that just looks like a preppy schoolgirl. Uh, she's, she's like a, a twist villain, um, where, where you think that it's someone else the entire time, but then no, 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 it's actually, it's actually her. Uh, and she has bangs. And I, you know, I'd been feeling restless with my hair, so I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my bangs, you know, to, so that I can be this character, uh, for this thing. And I was like, yeah, that's a good plan. So I, you know, went to, uh, went to the hairdresser, the person who dresses hair, and I said, I'm gonna get it, I want bangs. And they were like, okay, and then I got bangs, and it was great. Uh, fast forward, like, two months later, I was gonna go on... A trip to Singapore um, and it's just like part of a thing I was gonna go on a trip to Singapore and I wanted to get my bangs redone before I left because that felt like a good plan and I was sitting there waiting for my appointment and then I was like what if I just cut it off what if I just what if I just go for it what if I just do the big chop um, I didn't I didn't quite want to go like full I, I swear I've scanned this before I've definitely scanned this before yeesh maybe it just doesn't remember um I don't know I don't know uh I was like cut it off get rid of it cut the hair uh it wasn't going super all the way short yet it was just um it was just like a little a little above my shoulders but I, I I did that and then over the next year um, it just got progressively shorter every time I went in for a haircut to the point where I actually had um, I had an asymmetrical pixie bob at one point and if you have no clue what that is I didn't either it's where like one side of your short is one side of your hair is cut short like a pixie cut and then the other is longer in a bob and that lasted like a week until I decided I wasn't I didn't like it so then I went and had it done more like traditionally pixie and again it just kind of it just kind of got shorter from there <laughs> so now i've been, i've had a i've had a pixie cut for like a few years since then i've never tried to grow it out again cuz i'm just content with having short hair um but i, I think i want to i think i want to do my hair a little shorter this time i think i want the bangs to be not quite as long and what I've learned from this, from all these experiences is, um, hair is literally just hair. You know, if, if you want to, if you want to try something with it, like, it just, it just grows back, you know? Maybe not perfectly every time, but it, it, it grows back. Like, it's gonna be fine. All of those times I'd have, like, a, a big traumatic, like, oh no, I need to cut my hair because... Like, I don't know, I've done something stupid and it was super tragic, like, it came back and it was fine and whatever. And that's, that's me and hair now. I'm just like, eh. Hair. What am I missing? Lithium. Lithium. Gotta grab me some lithium. Doop. Lithium. I can have all the lithium I want after I make this. More, most important stuff is for you to like it. Yeah. 
as long as you enjoy whatever you've done with your hair, then it really doesn't matter. And um, my, one of my, I think one of my, one of my parents' uncles used to always say like, uh, the, the difference between a good haircut and a bad haircut is two weeks. Um, and obviously that's not true for all haircuts. You know, some of them are like really extremely bad, but for the most part, you know, you, you give it some time and it's, and it's going to be great. And it's going to be chill. All right. So, um, and with that, with that, I do believe I now have a fully equipped prawn suit. Let me just check that I put the arms on properly. I didn't quite do it properly, but yeah. This is this is the feeling of power. Uh, the the game tells you that you're gonna feel a feeling of power when you wear a prawn suit for the first time. Um, they're they're not kidding about that. So I don't more like more like prawn suit operator. This is uh. I always have to get reused to the controls every time I do this. Okay. No, just barely off on that. There's a thing you can do where you like shoot the shoot the grapple arm just barely forward. Can I? Can I? And if you do it properly, it'll launch you like a huge distance. I don't know that I'm good enough with the prawn suit at the moment to do that, but you know, it's the thought that counts. Don't jump 1.5 kilometers down, please don't be me. Ooh, yeah, I'm not planning on going into the uh, into the dead zone with this. Mostly right now, I'm actually looking for large quartz deposits. Um, I've got a very large, uh, very large aquarium project going on, and I need a ton of quartz for it. Hmm. Oftentimes there's large quartz deposits in the grassy plateaus, but I'm not seeing any. I could use my scanner room for it, but that sounds like a lot of effort. Ooh, see, that was a good one. That was a good one. The trick is to um, use, the, use the grapple in your jump jets for best advantage to just keep moving. And that's that's probably enough of that. I didn't plan it either. Okay, okay. Scanner room effort. Choose one. Mm. Gosh, that's tricky. Um You know, I think I think for the moment, I know it's a controversial decision. I know it's not the choice that most people would suggest. But I think I'm going to put in the effort of walking places to look for things uh, instead of go instead of just simply going back and setting my scanning room to look for it for me. It's a tough decision and I understand if you disagree with my choices, um, but I maintain that uh, my choices are my own and I will not allow anyone to make them for me. No matter what. Oh, and I forgot that the prawn suit starts with 900 depth. That's really nice. Where are the large quartz deposits? Please. Please, just, just, give me, just give me a little bit of a large quartz deposit. It doesn't have to be a lot. I just, I just want the large quartz deposit, please. Please. Speaking of choices, we bought a new carpet today. Yo! Yo, new carpet. There's something so lovely with making like, I don't know, traditionally, I guess, adult decisions. Where it's like, I don't know, um, man, I paid taxes today or, or, you know, I, um, that was certainly a noise that I just heard. I paid taxes today or I, you know, um, talked to 
my talked to my physician on the phone today and made an appointment. Chat, I made a I made a dentist appointment yesterday. And let me tell you, the feeling is unreal. The feeling is um kind of kind of special. It was a good carpet. Oh yes, I also want to know. It would be special if you didn't pay taxes every day. I mean, yeah. But like, um, or wait, no, uh, no, it's, uh, filing taxes. That's the word I'm looking for. Sorry, I said that wrong. Um, I filed my taxes. Like a good, um, like, like a good tax filer person who does not commit tax fraud ever. Okay, chat, um... I'm I'm running back for this for the scanning room. Oh, sorry, I just grabbed a fish. So sorry. Didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Okay. Oh, come on. There we are. There we are. Yeah. Is that the dentist say? It was not nice, but it went better than last time. That's good. I mean, as long as it, as long as it went better than last time, that's better. You know, it's still, still not, still not great if it wasn't a good experience, but uh, better. We love a, we love a better experience. I just want a large quartz deposit, please. Please, I just want a large quartz deposit. Oh, and, oh, angry, angry, angry little man with goggles face. Okay, okay, that's certainly a face to make. That is 300% a face to make. I was supposed to get your, uh, your Rananite. Whoops. Whoops. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Um... Big rip. I need to eat. Hold on, hold on. Apparently, operating prawn suit requires a lot of nutrition. Let's do that, and then we need to start replenishing that. And I can probably, uh, I can probably top off the rest with uh, lantern trees. Yep, that's good. That's good. I need to, dr to drill out an old filling. I've gotten broken. Oof. That's, that is a big rip. Why am I going that way? My prawn suit is this way. I, um, does the streamer want some cake? Yes. I am actually just a, just a little bit obsessed with cake. Um, fun story there. Uh, cake is my favorite food group. In fact, um, cake. I should steal all the cake then. Are, are you stealing it for me or are you stealing it from me? Because um, one of these is a more preferable situation. Oh gosh, I can't pick up resources with my drill arm in hand. Dang it. Not seeing any large deposits. We can we can take a look. Um, but if there are no large deposits, then I will give up. So Mr. Mayor can't get the cake? No! No! My weakness! People stealing cake from me. No! 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 It's a lemon cake and I made it myself? Lero, that is... Ugh. Make my cake now. Go to the room first. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. There's usually some in this uh, grassy plateau, though. I guess I just got unlucky with my spawn. I almost got really unlucky with my spawn. I almost had to, um, I almost had to go to the blood kelp trench for my grapple arm. Yeah, I guess, I guess there's just none over here. I could probably make my way over to the, um, to the mushroom forest, though. 
not deposits. Ah, oh, I, I wanted to find a deposit to use my new, my new and improved drill arm on. But I guess, I guess if I'm looking for something to use my drill arm on, I could use it on lithium in the jelly shroom caves. I, that uh, lithium is a resource that I generally need a lot of. Going to drill you with terror? No! Welcome aboard, Captain. You've already, you've already attempted to steal Lero's cake. Is the, is the, is this not enough for you? Is it not enough that you are that you're taking cake from the cakeless? Must you also must you also crush our hopes and dreams with quartz? I'm gonna crack my knuckles twenty times or so. I can pop my wrists continuously. Oh, that one's not gonna work. I'm just gonna have to take this one like that. I do want to enter closer to life pod seventeen because I know that there's some good lithium deposits nearby there. Wee. Wee. Be three more. Um if your wrist is popping that's not a good sign at least continuously. Uh I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um That's what my wrists do. It's probably an issue. I'm probably gonna lose my wrists in the next 30 years or so. Um, this is fine. This is, uh, this is totally fine. Why is it so loud? Mostly because I did it fairly close to the microphone. Um, I don't think it's actually that loud IRL. But microphones do be that way. I'm pretty sure I can get out of here with use of the grapple arm and jump jets. So I feel pretty alright to enter in. Be quiet, shark. You have no power here. You have no power here. Shut up, shark. I have conquered you. Sound like some crackers were getting tramped on? Yeah, it was... It was mostly just microphone proximity. I wanted to make sure you guys could hear and I didn't know how loud it would... Like, if it was gonna translate. No, can I can I not get caught on mushrooms, please? Um, this is silver, I guess. Silver is kind of annoying to pick up. Yeah, here we go. The fully operational prawn suit station, I guess. Just drrr. I would go and drill a shark or something. Just drrr. That's a good noise. Silver is good, useful. It is. Silver is pretty nice to have. Silver is useful for many things. And this way I don't need to go find a ton of um, sandstone. Stan uh, sandstone, my... um, I've, I've got a complicated relationship with sandstone. It's... uh. It, it's complicated. Relationship status. It's complicated. Oh, I think that's the entire silver. How much did I get from that? Yo. Welcome. I'll never need to get silver again. And I leave goodbye. Oh, bye, Lord. Thanks for stopping in again. Good music hit? Yeah. The, um, the jelly shroom caves have good music. Get out of here! Yeesh, it's almost like they don't know that um, I can attack them. Yeesh, kinda cringe. Kinda, kinda big cringe of, of the snakes to try and bite me, yikes. Big grip, can I? Oh my gosh. Dang it. That was so cool for, for one second and then it immediately became annoying. If I have to get out of my prawn suit to pick up the materials, then what's the point of being able to drill the outcroppings? Can I... 
there's usually a large lithium all over the place in here. Why can I not find a single piece of large lithium deposit? Large lithium deposits, where are you? Should have turned on my scanning room. Oh, wait, is that one right there? Is that one right there? <gasps> it is! Yo, large lithium deposit, here we go! I'm unreasonably happy with my prawn suit. I just really like how simple it is to get resources with it. I just... I, I just enjoy the experience of not having to um, go all over the place and find the things. I can, I can just find one thing and then I drill it. And it goes... And I appreciate that. Thanks. Th th thanks, Drill, for just going... Oh, and a little bit more. A little bit more. I gotta say, there's no feeling in this game quite like a good, um, quite like a good crash site hit. Uh, uh, for context, this is me going back to the whole, um, good music moment that happened. Um, when you get a perfect crash site, whoo, that is, that is some feelings. That is some feelings that I experience for sure. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Like just that, that just like wow, this is this is really scary because Crash Site is playing kind of feeling. For anyone not aware, um, Crash Site is a track in the soundtrack. Can I? Gosh, I'll land for a little bit. Sure, I'll replenish my jump jets or whatever. Like a nerd. Please, please tell me you're gonna let me catch hold. Yes, there we are. Thank you, thank you. Um, but Crash Site is a really good music piece that's just just kind of absolutely terrifying. It's got like so much energy is I think the thing. Is it the music itself isn't like, oh no, you done something bad. It's more just like something's gonna happen and you better be prepared. It's like it, it feels like it's amping you up for like a boss fight or something but there's no boss fight to be seen it's just water and that is that is a feeling because video games i feel like have gotten really good at communicating through sound design <sighs> yeesh i'm just gonna hit some stuff then i guess Video games have gotten really good at communicating through sound design what's going to happen. You know, you you hear triumphant music, you know you won. Um, you hear music that should sound triumphant, but it's a little it's a little sad, and you know that maybe there's something that you're missing. Uh, it's just so good, and Crash Site sounds like it, it sounds like a piece of music that's prepping you for you know, something big to come around the corner. And uh, many times something big does not come around the corner. And you're left just kind of wondering, did I just avoid the big thing coming around the corner? Um, is this, like, am I just lucky or did the game do something that I wasn't expecting? It just, I don't know, there's, there's a lot of good, um, good vibes to that. Okay. <laughs> I now have a ton of lithium, which is super nice. Um, a lot of silver ore, which is also very nice. Um, you know, actually I have enough silver ore that I'm gonna give it its own locker. Do, 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 do. And we've got a bit more, a bit more lithium to pick up. My base is so long, I have to walk so very far to get to so many places. And it's not that big of a it's not that big of a deal, but it sure feels like one. Um, yeah. So now that I've now that I've got my prawn suit all kitted up, I think. Oh gosh, I don't know where to get the reinforced dive suit blueprints. Cause I don't have that, and that would be really nice to have. I think. For now, 
what I would like to do is start building a Lost River base. Because we're just about at the time to start moving down to the Lost River, you know? I've done most of the things on the surface. There's still some places I haven't gone, some, some things I haven't done, but for the most part, I think it's just about Lost River time. So what if I bring with me in my Seamoth just the materials to make like a foundation, a multi-purpose room, and a nuclear reactor? Just to, just to get me started. I'm gonna need to get some uraninite to get that stuff. Oh, I'd also need a I'd also need a hatch. But let's just let's just start picking up the materials for those for those items um, and putting them in. I'm gonna need a t I'm gonna need a lot of titanium. What's where where have I been putting quartz? No, I have been putting it in here. I just don't have a room a lot a lot of space there now because I've been using a lot of lithium. Um, I can drink some water in a sec. Okay, let's just go uh, pick up some titanium. I don't actually- I should have looked while I had the locker open, but I think I've got enough lead. No, wait, wait, no, I don't have enough for, like, a nuclear reactor and... A th oh. Oh, well, that's gonna- that's gonna put- um, okay. Uh, to- so to outline the plan, we're gonna pick up some metal salvage and other materials- gonna have to make a run for some uranium at some point and that'll be cool that'll be that'll be chill we're gonna do all that and then we're just gonna take um scorpio and the orange tablet and we're gonna head back down to the lost river to get some work done i'm gonna build a base in the um in the world tree cove because <laughs> oh okay okay hi lord um, I will, I will admit that was actually, that was a good spot for that because my sea glide battery died right before and, um, yeah, that, that kind of hit different. It was like, is my, um, oh, I just got bit by a fish. Is my sea glide gonna explode? Am I gonna explode? What's, like, what's the story there? Good one, good one. You guys are getting very good at scaring me. I want to let you know I appreciate that for as much as it's a little bit terrible sometimes. All right. We have produced titanium. Yeah, titani titanium production. Yeah. All I need to do is this. No, 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 you're right. Dang it, I hate how right that is. It's so ominous. Like, <sighs> curse you, my lord is fish dude. Curse you for your, for your ways. Curse you for your ways of being and making me miss hitting titanium on the fabricator. You are, you are an evil, evil little fish okay that's cruel that's straight up cruel all right let's just drop a ton of titanium here I'm going to immediately take some out but um yeah whatever I take that as a compliment I mean honestly it kind of is a compliment I mean, being able to make people fear on command is, um, it's pretty cool. Alright, so that's gonna be a foundation. I need a multi-purpose room, which is six titanium, and a hatch, which is gonna be, um, quartz and two titanium. So I need eight titanium and a quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one quartz. That'll that'll take care of the basic rooms. Then I'm going to need a nuclear reactor. So basically, the my idea for my lost river base is I'm so I'm gonna move the hatch as soon as I can. There's going to be a lower section with the um with the nuclear reactor, and it's going to have reinforcements all around the side, and then the rest of the base is going to be a layer up. Do you just like my superpowers? 
Um, I... I mean, they're cool. It's cool being able to scare people on command. Like, is it... I, I guess... Do you, do you mean dislike as in... Uh, as in dislike the effects? Or dislike as in think it's a bad superpower? Because, um... Well, the effects are sometimes... Um, well, the effects are sometimes, you know, not great and unsettling. Like, the, the power in and of itself is pretty dang cool. We've got titanium ingot. I need two more lead and an advanced wiring kit. Um, I've got the gold for that. I need two more table coral and I'm pretty sure I'm set on copper. So let's, let's just make the computer chip. And I just got a ton of silver. So that's not going to be a problem. Yeah, I can probably just make it right now, now that I've got that, um, now that I've got the table coral. Just like the effects. Mwahaha. <sighs> Cursed you parry the platypus. I need three gold and two silver. I'm good at memorizing recipes. That's a lie, but you know, we can pretend like it isn't. We need a computer chip. And we need a wiring kit. Forgot to make a wire. I was like, what else do I need? Wiring kit. And then advanced wiring kit. Boom. I'm good at recipes, not so much following through. And I've got one extra lead. I need two more. So let's set my scanning room to sandstone outcroppings and go take a look for that. Not a platypus, I'm a fish. Did I? Oh, oh, I, I did say curse you. I did, that is true, I did say curse you. Um, well, I don't know. I, I feel like people can be cursed if even if they're not a platypus. I need a reinforced dive suit so that I can go into that area. Where is the reinforced dive suit? Hold on, I'm looking it up. Reinforced dive suit subnautica. One moment, one moment. Um, it's not for shape. It's not for shape. I'm so dry on the skin. I am gonna be honest. I don't use like lotion or anything after like I shave my legs or whatever. I'm just special like that. Sparse refreck. Oh. Oh ho ho ho. I can probably make that. Actually, chat, should we should we take a detour? Is it detour time? I think it's detour time. Shave my face, so that's why I kind of want it. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just uh, I'm I'm just a I'm just a little I'm just a little gremlin person who does not um. I'm I'm gonna be honest, chat. I I had a concept of like personal hygiene from a young age, but didn't quite understand the concept of like wrong wrong button didn't quite understand the concept of like lotion and stuff until a while later i think it took until my hands were like literally kind of almost cracked and bleeding one time for me to be like man i sure wish there's a way for my hands to be less dry and then my parents were like so you know that's lotion right and i was like what what also most likely smells nice. Yeah, that's a that's a big plus. That's a big plus. May I ask you how tall you are? Um Oh gosh, is that is that something I feel cool with saying? Uh let's let's say it this way. Canonically, I don't think it's possible for me to have a height, considering that um considering that I'm, I'm just a computer program. Um, but if I were to, if I were to have a height, it would probably be around 5'8", which I have no clue what that is in meters. Let's just say that. Oh, there we are. Express reef wreck. I think, I think this is where we want to go. What? What just happened? Hold on. 
Did it just glitch me inside of my life pod? Never go to the rock before it fully stopped. I thought it had. 176 centimeters? Yo. I thought it had fully stopped. I thought I had fully stopped and then. Chat, <sighs> I angy. I angy. I, I angy about that. I am. I am upset. I am. I'm. Quite upset about that one actually. I think that that was very impolite. That was that was very impolite and rude and incorrect and um, I'm 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 quite honestly very offended. You can't you can't see but I'm I'm, I'm making a I'm making a scrunched up angry face. I'm clipping it. I mean, go ahead. Anytime I do something dumb, feel free to absolutely lambast me for it. <sighs> Why is this game like this? Why is that the way that this game is? You know? Has it considered not being this way? Gosh, but I, I don't I don't like the way that this game does vehicles. Is that me you can see that was still going full speed? Well, I mean, I feel like even if it was going full speed, the way that the Seamoth works, I still shouldn't have been hit by it. Because the Seamoth opens outward, and I know for a fact that I was moving to the side, so I shouldn't have been hit. So, I'm I'm frustrated with vehicles in Subnautica in general, because if you save inside of a vehicle, you will break your entire game. My very first playthrough of Subnautica, I accidentally saved inside of my prawn suit, inside of the um, thermal... The, the, gosh, what's, what's it called? Like, the thermal plant place. Um, and it just absolutely destroyed that save. I had to, like, use console commands and, like, a, a ton of... No, wait, that's fire suppression system. I already have that. Ooh, I could have sworn this was supposed to be the place where the reinforced dive suit was, but maybe it's hidden. Um, yeah, you'll just not have a good time if you um if you save inside a vehicle and that just feels incorrect in my opinion i just think that that does not make a ton of sense okay could have sworn that this was supposed to be where the um thing was but oh well i can i can look elsewhere uh check outside like the the other ones um, I'm looking respectfully. Yeah, because I could have sworn that I've found the reinforced dive suit at least somewhere near here before. Hmm. Go through the door that's sealed? Yeah, probably the, probably a, a good next plan. second I thought that it was gonna be like you died to that one too and I would uh, I would have I would have screamed I would have screamed if I died to a falling um light stick fragment do I already have that I'll take the titanium yeah it was like you also died to a falling piece of superheated metal I would be like shut up you died to a falling piece of superheated metal hold yeah yeah no thank you for the thank you for the assistance lord Vehicles in this game are frustrating. No, but it's like, um, when, when I did the, when I did the thing with, when I accidentally saved my prawn suit my first time playing, um, when I came back in, I just kept, it kept, like, flinging me through walls, and any time I got out of my prawn suit, I would be stuck inside of the structure, not, like, in, on the inside of the structure, like, inside of the walls of the structure. I had to teleport myself and my prawn suit out 
But then my prawn suit refused to believe that it was actually in water and not in land, so my jump jets weren't working properly and my grapple arm was basically useless. So I had to just kind of wreck the thing and leave it at the bottom of the ocean and make myself a new prawn suit. It was very frustrating. It was terrible. Only the moth? So, uh, only, only the moth about what? Only the sea moth will condemn you to a sudden and quite frankly strange death. Only the sea moth is a good... Oh, that's annoying. Mm. I mean, I... Okay. I'd say for, that's true for everything but the, the saving issue. Um because the saving issue is, I think, exacer exacerbated in the prawn instead of um, improved. It's easier to make stuff go wrong when you save in the prawn. First dive suit, synthetic fibers, diamond, titanium, easy. Easy. I can make that like right now. Reinforced dive suit, here we go. Um, not sure if that's a you pulpit now. Huh? Yeah! Yeah, I, I'm reinforced. I've, I've brought reinforcements. It's me, I'm the reinforcements. I've got a ton of things in here. I can move some batteries out. Um, I can drop some batteries in here. Yeah! Um, all that being said, I do need to find some lead, so maybe I should, um, maybe I should find some lead now. Hehe, <laughs> oh, are you, are you, are you saying vaguely ominous statements in an attempt to make me feel fear for my life? Because it does work. That does, that is a thing that is possible. I'm still- I'm, I'm still a little bit upset that Scorpio killed me. My old Seamoth- my old Seamoth, Alexandra, would never- Alexandra would never ever do something like that. Uh, she was entirely too well behaved for that. Alright, where's the- where's the- there it is. Silver ore. Give me something that's not silver ore. What's over here? Nothing. Nothing is over there. Because why would it be? Hey, cyborg! Hello! Soup? I'm at soup. Why are you buying clothes in the soup store? That's just- that just lives in my mind rent-free constantly. Because honestly, when it comes down to it, why are you buying soup? No clothes at the soup store. One moment, please. One moment. Pardon me, we are experiencing um, technical difficulties. We are exper experiencing so. <gasps> Hi, Lord. Hi, th thanks for that. One moment, I gotta get the right angle on this. What? What's your what's your angle on this? What what's your deal? What what do you get out of this? What's the what's the situation around here? Not the soup. It's too late, Cyborg. You've been souped. You've been souped up. It's it's too it's too late, Cyborg. Okay, well at least I got some lead. Come on. What is it with these things and being so difficult to stab sometimes? Like, where is- where is- where is your hitbox? Where? Cyber got roasted? Did Cyber get roasted or did Cyber get boiled? Cause, um, cause soup. 
Alright, well, we'll do a little more exploration down here, and then we'll make a surface run for oxygen. I'm going to pretend to not care about the, uh... I'm going to try very hard to pretend not to care about that crash fish being unkillable. I'm trying very hard to pretend. Open flame roasted. Oh, was it like an open flame roast and then put into soup thing? Because I'm going to be honest, that does sound tasty. That does sound, that does sound real nice, actually. The man cyborg, I can't believe, can't believe you got roasted like that. Imagine being soup. Kind of cringe, man. Kind of cringe. <laughs> soup? Like, whoa. What, what are you? Soup? Whoa. I'm just gonna flick through all of my sea glide settings. Okay, so supposedly... Oh, it's down here, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna do this super fast. Whoop, and we get out. I think that should be enough lead. I think, I think. Yep, that's enough lead. Okay, so I've got... <laughs> the game's so hot now. Ayy. It's a little crunchy in their metal bits. Mm. Just me no, just no. On, no, 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 on what? On, on roasting side break, I want to let you know that it is my, it is my Twitch given right to roast cyborg, considering that he's my mod. I th I think that that's just something that I'm permitted to do always, unless cyborg asks me to stop, in which case I will stop immediately. Like, come on. And titanium. Okay, what do I need for a nuclear reactor? I need uraninite is what I need, but, um, let's look at the actual, okay. I've got the actual requirements here. I need to go grab some uraninite to make myself a nuclear rod, nuclear power rod. What's it called? The, the, the things that you put the nuclear power in. Okay, let's just drop lead in there that way, and then I can carry the rest in my actual inventory. But I do need uraninite. Um... I could probably make a run out to the Blood Kelp Trench. Um, I'm chill going there for just supply runs. I'm a roast you, do it. Do it, you won't. You won't. You won't. Do it, you won't. Except maybe don't roast me too hard or I will cry. Um, look at that peeper closing its eyes. What a, what a silly little peeper. Closing its eyes, thinking that that, that will that, that will protect it from me. Chat, you wanna you wanna know what happens when you close your eyes when there's a ship approaching you? You get hit by the ship. What a what a silly little peeper. That peeper is gonna die someday, and it's gonna be me who kills it. Um, when you're a scaredy cat. Um, I mean, I'm all. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I wear that one with pride because, um, listen, the easiest way to, uh, to, to not deal with a situation is to just simply be not in the situation. Um, do I want to go for your Ananite this way? It might be better to do the sparse reef. The sparse reef entrance might be a bit better. Uh, two got killed by the sea moth when was at full speed. Um, I would argue that that's game design issues. That one's clearly not on me. Clearly not on me. Three, uh, sometimes it's quite easy to scare you. Um, I will let you know that being startled by loud noises is an evolutionary advantage. Um, you know, when you... That, that's, uh, it, it gives you a good reaction time. You roasted Quimby? Yeah, no, that was, that was, I, I did just get roasted. Admittedly, yes, I have been roasted. Ooh. We're gonna move this way. Large quartz deposit. Wow, if I had my prawn suit, I could get a ton of quartz right now. Sorry. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go in the S&P to check my mailbox. Oh yeah, I should. I should jump on there again at some point, too. Sorry! Sorry about that. Didn't mean it. 
Sorry. I'm sorry. And now we look for your Ananite. I think I saw some more over here. There's two, and there's three. That'll be enough. We'll do a quick warper check. Just make sure that there's not going to be any warpers. Sorry. Um. That was that was a that was a gut reaction. I I'm so I'm terribly sorry about that one. Um, okay, we go. Pick up the uranite and then boom, sea moth. We good. We good. We good. Uh, yeah, okay, that'll give me everything I need for my reactor rod. I'm pretty sure. Wait, do I need more lead for a reactor rod? Just one. I just need one. And I do I do have one singular extra lead. I might pick up some quartz while I'm here, though, because um, I have been running a bit low on quartz. But we will attempt to make it fast, because... Uh, blood kelp zone. Doop. By the way, we're gonna fight weather. I need a beacon for my base so I can do um, expansions. Uh, I think cyborgs opened up the nether roof. I think is a, is a big one for that. What did I just hit that caused that much damage? What did I just What did I just smack my 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 sweet little robotic truck submarine things into because spadefish do a lot of damage but not that much someone help me would be great yeah if anyone is up for that maybe I'm, I'm gonna be going down to the um to the lost river but i don't know about anyone else uh Words, thoughts, thinks, thinking, um, I need an or- I need to bring my orange tablet. That's gonna be- that's gonna be the trip. That was lovely. So I'm gonna grab my orange tablet, I'm gonna make a reactor rod, and then I'll have everything that I need to start setting up a base. And then it's just a matter of making my way back down. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Uh, other words. Do 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 do. I should go to Life Pod Twelve at some point. Um. Yeah. I think I've done most of the things on the surface that I can at the moment. Um, but it's- I probably should go to the bulb zone a little bit. You know, bulb zone is a pretty cool spot and I haven't really been there. And, um, I don't know, probably something else. But I, I do want to start building a base down- downstairs. So, I'm gonna be honest, chat, um, I- I really- really missed something like the Lost River in Below Zero. I just I just absolutely missed that. Okay, let's consume Marble Melon, Stab Marble Melon, Replant Marble Melon, The Circle of Life, and eat like two Lantern Tree Fruits just to top off. I need my orange tablet. I need to make a reactor rod. Pretty sure I've got everything that I need for that, so let's just throw it all together. Um, let's it together, and what do you get? You get a reactor rod. All right, so now my now I'm set up to be able to make a basic base down at the down at the bottom of the world, and also open up the um the the one cache on my way. All right, chat. This is it. 
You can do anything you want to go up here a bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't want to take on a wither without, um, without prior preparation. All right, chat. You guys ready to, to head down, down, down into the depths? We're going to be taking my favorite route into the Lost River, which is actually through the Blood Kelp Trench. I know I've spent a large portion of today being terrified of the Blood Kelp Trench, um, and that's still true. This is just, I think, the best way to enter. So, good times for me. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a, a grand old time. We zoom. We zoom. Okay. Ready, 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 ready. Last time I did this, it went really well for me. It went real, really super well. And I am hoping that we have a similar experience today. I'm really hoping we have a similar experience today. All right, chat, you guys ready? Cause here we go. And last time this went super well. I'm not expecting it to go quite that well, um, but it would be cool if it went that well. It'd be really cool. It'd be really kind of awesome, actually. Okay. Okay. Okay, I just heard a warper. This is fine. This is fine, 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 this is fine. I hope if I say it enough times it'll actually be true. Okay, you've successfully entered the Lost River, and I'm pretty sure I'm not being chased. Um, at least by a warper. I might be being chased by a crab squid, I don't know. Um, I'll turn back to look in just a second. Oh, there's another crab squid there. Let's make sure to avoid that. Whoop. Ah, crab squids. I'm not being chased by a warper! <laughs> Oh, I doubt that they would have followed me that far without, you know, making a sound or another attack or something, but I'm not being followed by a warper. This is good news. This is really good news. <sighs> I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. Man, the Lost River is so pretty. It's gorgeous. Just look at this place. Haha, uh -huh, ripped the ghost leviathan. It's not anywhere near me. Now does the ghost leviathan expect to catch me when it's not anywhere near me? Ha! Huh. Big joke. Big funny. Alright. We are very rapidly approaching the Seamoth's crush depth. Um, man, the Lost River is so big. It's just this absolutely massive cavern. Oh, let's avoid the... I don't actually remember what those guys are called. Huh. I have no memory of that. I was gonna say I have no memory of this place, but that's a lie, because I do have a memory of this place, just not of those in particular, so... Yeah, big rip. And welcome to the World Tree Cove! This is my favorite spot in Subnautica, because uh, it's absolutely gorgeous and also is not going to kill me. Let's take Scorpio down kind of about as far as I feel safe taking them. And, alright. Oh, one moment. There we are. Let's take a look around and see where we want to build a base. I sort of have this vision of um, 
with this, not just mean the factory made. Yo, super smelter pog. So I sort of have a vision of making a base that rings the world tree. Um, I don't know what I would do with all that space, especially considering how far it would be. I think it would be absolutely lovely to just, you know, ma make an area all around there. So, yoink my idea now. Yes, I, no, I mean, understandable. Haha, -ha. that ray got yeeted somehow. I think... Hmm. Either this island or that island, I think, is ideal base location. Let's maybe do this one. Just because, I don't know, I think it's nice there. It's a, it's a bit deep. I'm definitely going to have to make my prawn depth module mark one before heading down here, but um, that's fine. What do I need for the prawn suit depth module mark one? One moment, please. Um, possibly, ooh, I need three nickel ore for that. So maybe that's something we'll pick up while we are here. Please tell me I brought my, yes, I did. Whew, that was, um, that was almost, that, that was almost rough. Actually, I think I can bring all of this stuff with me. All right. Let's go make a base. Is it a block in the base? Oh no, a dirt block in your base? Whatever would a dirt block be doing there? Can I make a foundation on top of here? think okay so we we can probably do that and then okay 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 the vision is coming in place foundation right there you know leaves some room underneath lets the lets the deep shrooms grow the then we do a multi-purpose room on top of that this is the first multi-purpose room this is going to be where the reactor goes so the actual, like, base part of the base is gonna start in the second multi-purpose room up here, and then that's going to connect to, like, a moon pool on this side for my prawn suit, and hopefully that'll bring it tall enough that the prawn suit will have enough room to maneuver. So that's, that's a good, that's a good thing to start with. He got his tennis balls? Yes, understandable. Understandable. Have a great day. And then... We've got a base... We've got a nuclear reactor. How, how, why do I have two dead batteries on me? That's weird. And... Boom. Power. Alright, so. <laughs> this, is, this is a good start. This is a good start. So that's the base, like, and um, eventually I'm going to move this hatch as soon as I can get my, you know, like actual um, multi-purpose room going on right there. And then I'm going to reinforce the entire area around here with the reinforcement plates so that, you know, the nuclear reactor is not going to explode. That's a big priority to me is no nuclear reactor explosions. And then, yep, and then something, a moon pool coming off to the side here. Um, I can maybe build up high enough that I could have a seamoth uh, moon pool here. That one's, that one's a maybe. I'm not sure how I feel about bringing Scorpio down here forever. But at the same time, I do, I do love the seamoth. Um, let's just do a quick little... Can I find like literally any nickel or search? Ah, yes. I need three for the prawn depth module. What do I need for the cyclops depth mo module mark two? I also need. Okay, I also need nickel or. No, wait, no, have I already. No, I've already made that, so I need the mark three. I need kyanite for that? Yeesh. Alright, well, no wonder that one's such a tall order. Yikes. Yeah, so, um... I'm, 
I'm pretty sure I've... Have I made the Merc 2, though? Wait. No, I've only made the Merc 1. I'm pretty sure I've only made the Merc 1, so let's... Let's grab enough Nickel Ore for the Merc 2 just in case. Um, gotta go to class. Ah, yep. Yeah. Bye, Cyborg. Thanks for stopping in. They can explode? I don't think so. Um, I just, I just do it for, like, believability purposes. I feel like if I were to have a personal, um, nuclear reactor in my base, I would want to make sure that it's sturdy enough to survive a hit. So, it's, th that's just sort of me. Man, I, re I always forget how big the world cove is. This place is ginormous. Like, look how small my base looks next to this. It's huge. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just sort of a, a personal believability type thing. I, ju I just think, I, I just think I would like to have my nuclear reactor reinforced. What I'd love to do is be able to put like some sort of seal beneath, between, you know, the layer that I'm going to have it on and the layer I'm going to have everything else on. Um, but I don't think that that's quite possible. There's nothing that, like, protects between layers, so I'm just going to wave my hands and say that that's fine. That's a- that's a hand wave moment. Ah, there we are. Alright. I should have- I've got five nickel or I thought I- I thought that one was six. Well, that one is six, so it's okay. I have six nickel ore. And that's what it looks like I need. Um, I was gonna hit the orange tablet area today, the, the little cache there. Uh, but we are, I do need to go get my haircut pretty soon though. And I have been looking forward to my haircut. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna end today inside of my little base over there. And then tomorrow we're gonna make a run on the, um, on the place where you use the orange tablet. And then, um, I'm pretty sure that you use the orange tablet there. I'm like 90% certain. And then we will, I don't know, go from there. So for the moment, um, let's go ahead and save the game. That's very important. You know, gotta, gotta save the game. Is it cool if I take a multi-shot? Um, probably. I would, Im I would imagine so. I'm gonna put you guys on the frog screen and I'm gonna turn on some jazz while I shut the game down. Cause, um, that feels like a good plan. But don't worry, we saved, so it's okay. Alright, um, can you take that as yes? Yes. Well, I hope, uh, everyone had a good time today. I had a, I had a pretty decent time. Um, yeah, just we just had some had some odd energy today, but we we're we we're getting pretty close to the end game, and I'm very excited for that. Um, frog, oh hi. Uh, I heard uh, tummies too. I'm so sorry about pronouncing your name wrong. I'm actually just about to end stream. Oh, thank you for following. Um, gosh, I'm I'm just about to end stream, but it's good to. Everyone says it wrong. Sorry. Um, I hope to see you next time. Maybe we, maybe we can have a good long conversation some other time. Um, all good? Okay. I just gotta go get a haircut. I so hope I'll remember to check. Yeah, well, um, oh gosh, this is actually part of my little, little thing I say at the end of stuff. Um, I will be back tomorrow. I stream Monday through Saturday starting at 1pm Eastern time. And tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, yeah, tomorrow's Wednesday, so we'll probably be back in Subnautica, and we'll go to the you know we'll go to the Lost River Cache, and we'll start moving more to the Lost River, and it'll be cool. Before you on stream, yeah. What's up? Guess where I'm from? Oh, I oh I don't I'm not I'm not a big fan of um, guessing locations. May I tell you a person I think we can write? Yeah, go ahead. I didn't have anyone in particular planned, so. Uh, you're European, oh. I do, I, we do love a, love a European moment. European is, uh, great. 
Smudgy. That's the Smudgy? Okay. Um, I think they're really cool. Yeah, what are, what are they doing? Let me, let me look them up. Uh, but yeah, good, good European moment. Oh, watching fires? Okay. I don't know what Firewatch is, but that sounds like, that sounds like a cool thing to do for a raid. So yeah, let's go ahead and send you guys there. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna read out what you guys are saying about your locations, but, um, I guess I can't necessarily stop you. Um, yo, you guys are, oh, that, that's cool, that's cool. Um, gosh, I should, I should get on with my life. I gotta, uh, I gotta, um, I gotta go get a haircut. <laughs> Well, I will see, I will see you guys later, um, as the, as the raid is heading out. It was, it was nice to meet you. Um, gosh, I don't, I don't know why I want to say is your, is your name, new friend, Heart? It, it was nice meeting you. I hope to see you another time. Um, see you again? Yeah. Hope to see you again. Um, for now, I hope you guys have a, an absolutely lovely rest of your day, night, morning, I don't know, evening, whatever it is. I hope you have a good one. Have a good one, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, go go watch this person playing Firewatch. I've never played the game. I don't know there, but the Lord says they're cool, so that's probably that's probably pretty pog. You know, maybe consider dropping a follow, just saying hi in chat, whatever whatever works. What game? Um, Firewatch. And I'm rambling now at this point, so I really gotta let you guys go. But see you next time. Have a good rest of your time. Bye, guys. Bye. I don't know why I do my voice super high like that. Ah, bye. <laughs>